It's already cooler. There are waves in the ground. It's definitely <sighs> cool. I overdosed twice for the first time in my life this year. Her calling card is she will steal your sugar and shit on your bed. I live in the middle of the desert in a home I've made out of pallets. Cool, this is it? Nice. This is my little store. Oh, it's beautiful. Thanks. I so love it. Co-op of nine different artists in here. Do you get a lot of people coming in from out of town just to check it out here? Um, all mostly Southern California. Are yeah. people visiting Southern California? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in LA, yeah, yeah. Right on, right on. Is the summer the hardest time because it's so hot? Yeah, for six months it's complete hell. Yeah. I make the rings, they'll have real stones or pearls in them. And then we also, uh, me and a friend of mine wrapped the sage. We w picked a white sage up near uh, San Diego. Yeah, I like to design the t-shirts even. Uh, you're at the Viper Lounge. You got the GPS coordinates on the bottom right where you're standing. I, mean, I think I have 25. There you said 25, right? Yep. Cool. Yeah, I got it. Perfect. Sweet, man. I'll do the, the big one. Okay, cool. Let me get your brand new one then. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you letting me come in here and check this yeah, out. Yeah, man. Right on, bro. All right, have a good right, day. Man. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Sweet. So far, so good. I'm liking Slap City. Damn. He was so nice. It's actually so artistic around here, which I love. Like Church of Enlightenment. What's that? Love is all you need. Stay humble, stay positive, stay kind. No smoking, no drugs, no negativity. Leash your dog. The world's a beautiful place. Enjoy it. Like, it's a very, it seems like it has very positive energy here. This is the campground, the Ponderosa, open mic night every Saturday. Slab City Hostel. Zach? How are you? Good, is it cool if I film? Sweet, thank you. This is amazing. Is this your place? Oh my gosh, I love it. Thanks. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, I'm so excited sure. to be here. For sure. um, I brought you some tea. I brought oh. you a lot. Just so you'd have like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't awesome. know where you want me to put it, but. Yeah, um, thanks. Bring it right over here. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Oh, you're nice and tan. Oh, just don't be out here. Dennis. Oh, there's Dennis. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Hi. Can I pet him? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hi, baby. The of course, I'll help you carry them too. I don't know. I'm yeah. just gonna go put them right over here. Okay, cool. Excuse the mess. It's like a, I'm doing construction and stuff. And it's not messy at all. Oh my gosh, okay. it's so nice. It doesn't even feel that hot right now. I thought, I mean, maybe because it's right in the sun. Maybe yeah, that's why. Probably. Previously, the floor stopped right here, and I had like a projector, and then the screen was on that wall. Mm -hmm. So, but I hated like having my back to the street. Mm, oh, like so, not knowing who's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I turned, I added this row, and then put the walls up. Smart. And then the screen's gonna be right there. And then it's gonna be like mounted right up there somewhere. Cool. And then, I yeah. love it. I feel like this is gonna be like your new sanctuary when you get it set up, like just chilling here. I, it's like always so funny to me. Like, like I like yelled at the Amazon people the other day. I was because they were like saying something to me. And I was like, I live in the middle of the desert in a home I've made out of pallets. So when you first came here, what do you think? I feel like being like from New Orleans, like I, mm. I, we didn't seen it all in the 504. You know what I mean? Like mm. so, like nothing really like surprises me. I knew that when I moved from the library and got that spot over, it's like by the pirate camp oh. and Bicycle Charlie's. Um, there were like fights in the street every day. I'm like in my hammock, just like watching them like rumble. <laughs> I got the bus stuck on the other entrance and had to have it towed out. And but like I stayed that that night, and I was like, um, I really liked it. I came over for like made I made gumbo. And like fed the people that were here. Your New Orleans side coming out. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And um, like later that night, I was like, hey, dude, would it be cool if I like stayed here for a while? And they were like, yeah, yeah, awesome. You know? who, so, but who do you have to ask? Is whoever like kind of is around this land? Right. Yeah. Like, so up in the slabs, you'd like supposed to like ask the people that are around, like the neighbors. Um, and like down here, like I asked Wolf because like, you know, this is like his spot, you know? Wait, so what are these flies called that come, keep coming around? They're Western horse flies. They're um, big. They're fucking huge. Their teeth, they sting. They've got like little fangs. They'll fucking get you. One of them bit my ass, through my shorts, and through my drawers. What is it like being like a gay man here? Well, there's like a whole camp that's like gay people, you know, like up in the slab. Oh, really? Yeah. And they all kind of live around each other? Mm -hmm. Do you date anybody or? No. And how do you feel about that? I mean, it's 
okay, I guess. I, like, had, like, the love of my life, and he's, like, not, we're not together anymore. So, like, I've just been, like, pining away, you know, like, by myself. You know? was, that guy in, was that guy in New Orleans? Yeah. And is that the kind of the reason why you moved away from New Orleans? I mean, like, initially, yeah. I mean, like, it was, like, a, a really bad breakup. We were together for, like, three and a half years, and wow. it was, like, really sad. That's so. a long time. I can't imagine being with someone for that long, and then... Right. In, like, gay years, that's, like, ten years or something. Oh, no, literally, yeah. like, I had literally, like, my longest relationship was a year and a half, and I remember after that, I was, like, I don't know what to do with myself. After it ended, like, you, just, like, you like almost, like, lose a part of yourself. Right. I mean, like, in New Orleans, it's like, I just, there's just nothing really there for me. Like, Do you have family there or not? Uh, no. I was, like, raised, my mom, like, gave me up to the state when I was 12. So I was, like, a ward of the state until I was emancipated at 17. I lived in group homes, and I went to jail a lot, and then um, a foster home, and then jail, and a boot camp until I, or children's home. Jails in New Orleans? Yeah, yeah. What was that like? Oh my god, it was awful. Oh my god, it was terrible. They were like kicking kids and shit like down the stairs. So then from there I went to the Louisiana Louisiana Methodist Children's Home until I was emancipated. Am I like out of frame? I'm, I'm gonna share or not. Yeah, sorry. That's just, okay. The sun was like beaming on my head. <laughs> Like, people don't really talk about it, I don't think, that much. But, like, crime is pretty big here, and people are pretty cutthroat, you know? I mean, like, they'll, like, come steal your shit. There's, like, some this one chick, I'm not going to mention names, she, her calling card is she will steal your sugar and shit on your bed. Wait, and does she actually shit on your bed? Yeah. They call it, like, nerping. I, mean, I don't know. I'm probably going to get killed for saying this stuff. I don't know. Wait, wait. But it's like, it's, like, it's like stealing, like, it's just going, like, robbing. Well, you're not stuff. saying any names, so it's yeah. like no one's going to know who it, who right. it is. Wait, and what will they steal? I mean, just anything. Anything that's not nailed down. That's kind of stressful for you because you like spend so much time oh, building yeah. and, that's and stuff. That's why I got cameras and shit. Yeah. Wow. So you always on alert for that kind of stuff. I try to be. Yeah. But it happens at night, probably. Yeah. This is a concentrated like place for uh, eccentric people, like crazy people, people off their meds, right. drunk people, artists. You know, like really great people. Like, and then there's like really awful people. You were saying that you aren't really interested in dating right now. I mean, there was a dude that was like here uh, for a while that like we weren't like dating or anything, but we were like. Hooking up or talking or whatever. Yeah, like, I mean, like, traveling and shit. Like, we went to Arizona a couple times. Oh. Like, gold mining and shit, you know, in the bus. I would call that kind of dating. I mean, don't what? tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> I have, like, Tinder and, like, Grinder and stuff. But, like, honestly, like, I only, like, have gotten on them when I was looking for drugs. <laughs> oh, know? really? Like, yeah. I was coming down, like, I was shooting heroin a lot. It was, like, fentanyl. But um, I had stopped and I parked at the truck stop in Brawley and like literally like was dying for like three days. I've come off of like drugs before and then like that's never happened. You know? So you have like a, you have a thing with drugs, you do drugs and then you'll be like, I'm going to not do drugs anymore and then do drugs. And um, do I mean like, yeah, I've always had a relationship with drugs, you know, uh -huh. and that was like the worst I'd ever been like, you know, like I didn't realize that I was like that reliant on them, you know? Yeah. And where are you now with them? I just don't do that drug. <laughs> Got it. I overdosed twice for the first time in my life this year. Why is it specifically right now that there's like a big thing with fentanyl? Mexico is pumping it into the country, the cartel. I mean, it's just really strong. So like they're like putting way more than they used to. For a while, it was like you'd see ambulances like on the daily coming into the slabs. <sighs> I mean, and it's like if they don't have sirens on, it's like usually they're probably dead, you know? Wow. It's so strong. You know, like three little granules and shit like can like fucking knock somebody out supposedly or some shit. You know what I mean? Like I hadn't like done... I, so I got some heroin here in the slabs, uh -huh. and I hadn't done it since I had kicked it, you know, but I knew I was doing fentanyl. It was just, like, a straight white powder. Like, I know what it is. And th this was, like, brown, like, sticky shit, you know? And, like, I did, like, a little bit. I'm talking about little bit. Like, if I wanted to die, I'd fucking kill myself, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I'm not going to fucking, like, intentionally take too right. much. Right, And, like, I... Like, thank God that dude was here, James. Like, the, the dude that I was, you know, yeah, whatever. Not dating, dating. Yeah, because he, like, came into the bus, like, must have been, like, minutes afterward. And he, like, Narcan me. And I was, like, that's, I was so embarrassed. And, like, like it made me feel like shit, you know, like, to, like, put someone in that position to be mm. responsible for, like, taking, bringing your life back. You know, like, mm. oh, my God, it was awful. People come into your life for a reason. And it's, like, which I believe that maybe he was in your life for that reason. Also, Matt. Hi, Matt. Nice to meet you. Thanks for thanks for letting me see your spot. I appreciate it. I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. It's cool. You see, you dug underground to keep a, to keep it cooler, or what? Oh yeah, you want to take a look? I yeah. would love to. Thank you. I'm so curious. He just painted it the other day. Oh wow! It's so smart. It keeps it much cooler in there, huh? You mind if I smoke? No, not at all. Oh my gosh, I love it. I like the different. Did you paint the colors too? It's so cool. Yeah. It's artistic. Originally it was more pink, but I thought it was too flamboyant. I like the blues too, yeah. <laughs> but uh, when I painted, I was like, I just need something to make me happy. It makes me happy too. It's nice colors. No rattlesnakes today. 
right? <laughs> I'll keep an eye out. It's already cooler. Oh my gosh. Hey. Hi. Nice. Oh my gosh. It's so nice down here. It's like 15 degrees cooler. That's what I'm thinking. At least 15 degrees. Yeah. This is smart. I love it. I mean, I, I had to come in here for the first time. Uh, in quite a while, like last two weeks ago, maybe was it? And I'm like, oh my god, Matthew, you have been busy, dude. Like, it's like you've really done some work. How'd you do it? I just dug it out. Damn. Originally, this was ground level, three pallets high. And you dug all of this? Yeah, by hand. Yeah. Wow. Like when I when I moved here, he just had like literally like just like the the upper part, and yeah. you would take the roof off or something like just to when it was. Like nice weather and shit and cover it up when it was cold, right? Yeah. This is amazing. Right? I'm so impressed. Hey, we had a root beer for you. Oh yeah, where did I put that? I'm sorry. Terrible. Shut, shut the door. I'll shut the door. Hey, dog, you see, can the dogs come out? Oh shoot. Yeah, they can come out. Okay. Wow. This is sick. Zach, do you have Venmo? Uh, I have Cash App and Okay, cool. I want to buy one of those rocks from you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Five dollars. No, no, I'll pay you 40. Oh. <laughs> Just for everything you've been doing for me anyways. I'm not gonna argue. Yeah. Let me make sure I have the Cash App app. I don't know which one do you think which one do you think I should get? I don't know. I think that these two are my favorite, the best ones. So I think it should be one of those two. Alright, Zach's first official rock sale. <laughs> my Wait, first sale. Let's see it. It's beautiful. It's it's gorgeous. I love the colors. Too Matt, thanks for everything. Peaches. Yes. Thank you.